levels uh, at Xenosaga 38. We have PK, Chris, and Suarez, likely playing, you know, Ness and Yoshi versus Bobo and Quids, uh, Snake and PT. Oh my god, PT. And honestly, this is like a Long Island versus Westchester, but in a New York City venue That's event hilarious. right here. We're just hosting it. That's it. We're just vibing, watching them, you know, destroy each other. Going all over on TNC, I believe. No, it's not TNC. It's funny. It's Smash, Smash Bill. Bill. I only know because the waterfall, there's a waterfall in, in, in TNC on this side. That's how I know which oh. one's which. It's so, it's so disappointing. Right now, both players. I mean, these are both very skilled uh, teams right now, and I think they both kind of like they 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 double a lot together with their teammate. So these are both seasoned players who know what they're doing and who have their own setups ready for uh for whatever's gonna happen. Mm -hmm. And I believe it is still best of three. Yes. Okay. Perfect. I think best of three. And then we're, gonna we're all go trying to go home. We're that's all right, trying to go right. home. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, trying to read a maybe a jump into. The snake up tilt, but just not really getting it. Hasn't really getting that uh, that card. That's not that combo at all today. Yeah, when definitely when you're in oh, Smashville, it's definitely smaller. And <gasps> wow! Was that well? First of all, he kills on teammate for that, but maybe right. it, hopefully it was worth it. But because I, I think that definitely was worth it. Oh. Um. I think it definitely was worth it because Chris was just gonna take out. Um, Who's gonna take out Quid, right? Yeah. Who's just about to take out Quid? But um, with the C4 being there, um, Snake or um, Bobo was just able to at least get equalize the stock, you know, <gasps> an eye for an eye, everything balanced, just how it. Tell me right now, where you think the C4 is? It's a game. Where's the C4? Where's the C4? Oh, right there, right there. It's right so in front difficult of, to um, see. It's right, right, it's right on the platform. Yeah, on the edge of that the platform. It's right so there. hard to see. That's so unfortunate. If People have to be really careful. Yeah, right there. See? So I'll try to make sure that I tell everyone that C4. C4 on the left side of the stage, uh, near the edge, right where Quid Game is. But yeah, I think I'd be careful with uh, with those placements because they they blend right into the stage. But right now, Quid Game getting a good amount of, you know, getting uh, Bobo away from the stage as much as he can and using Ivysaur. Hello? Okay, no. We're good. We're good. And honestly, it's just so much going on. And now we see... Um, Oh, Chris using go. the magnet, knowing that hopefully the it might kill, like eat up a grenade or I don't yeah, know. Does it eat C4. grenades? Oh, uh, I think so. But I know it definitely eats I know up. Can, I know you can pick up grenades. So I'm pretty sure you can just swallow them. Right, right. Bum, 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 bum. This song's a bop, bum, honestly. Bum, bum, like, bum. okay, right now we have a little bit of one v one going on each side of the stage. Oh no, going to the Ivy floor back air oh! or back throw. And that was so good, using the PA magnet quid. to um, delay his stuff in the air, and then just going for the baseball bat. Hit bam boom. Uh oh. PA and Chris are completely just ignoring quid and going straight for <laughs> for uh, Bobo. Yeah, and honestly, when you're at that position, it's definitely a better matchup to play, and especially when they're in the ledge like that. Something that PK Chris or Ness really thrives in. Uh oh. Uh oh. This is like a very dangerous spot for Quid. If he's able to take out PK Chris, he can definitely, you know, bring it back. Yep, he's good. Alright, oh, good. Charizard man. tail coming in clutch for once. Changing the Squirtle, interesting choice. Probably back up a lot of damage on Squares and a very easy, you know, maneuver with Squirtle and getting changed to Ivysaur. Maybe to edge guard him a little bit with Ivysaur, you know, uh, fair and air and things like that. Yeah, that nair coming out. Oh no, egg. Maybe doing a little bit of Yoki starter that we all know and hate. Possibly. Up tilt. Egg. And honestly, Quid Game is getting tossed around by everything that Suarez has to show. He definitely knows exactly how to play this character. He definitely knows how to do this matchup. You know, and Ivysaur and Quid going right into with uh, with a few Ivysaurs, you know, Vine Whip and, uh, and Leaf Blade. Oh wow, that was so good on that part. Just interrupting the match. Interrupting the. The smash attack that they were just about to fall on. And here it comes. Okay, now we both players are both have really dangerous percentage. And that oh, Charizard wow. back in! Let's go! Edge guard. Oh, that's and crazy. You definitely see how Suarez is a little bit upset. Quid is a little he uh, pricked up. They're, they're kinda hyped right now. They're like, Ayo. Ah, oh, that was a crazy that was basically like a 1v1. It was just it was I'm so glad it was so evenly like uh it started so even because there's just a low percentage. And just showcasing, you know, their 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 move sets as uh as their characters. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, that was so hype. That really was, um, 
And it's so interesting because Suarez really dominated that match. They were doing all these combo moves. They all their moves like worked with one another. But then the one time they go off stage to try to go for, I guess I don't want to call it an easy kill, but go off stage to do some sort of edge guard. That's when they got reverse edge guard with the Charizard tail. And I'm running it back. I see what CJ chose this time. Maybe running back to Smashville. No, they're going to TNC. Oh no, yeah, Smashville. Okay, Smashville. definitely Smashville. Definitely, they feel confident confident in this um, matchup. They definitely feel confident in this stage, at least. And I'm pretty sure this stage is really good for all the characters involved here. And the middle stage, the middle platform is really good for a lot of aerial combo starters and just finishing out a lot of stuff. But also for Snake. Oh, I don't know why I thought he just died oh, right there. Oh, getting for that back air. Oh, Chris is really trying to go for that um, edge guard for it. Yeah, I think they're gonna try to take out Bobo because those C4s and grenades are are a big liability for t uh, Team Red. Yeah, and those um, those grenades and those um, C4s have been killing his teammate in the previous match too. So that's definitely oh yeah, definitely gets eaten by it. Yeah, but it, it, in the end, they, they're still one up in the in terms of games. Yeah. So hopefully they'll be all right, and you know maybe Bobo will just be a little more careful when he does a C4. And is this C4 right there? Yeah, on the, uh -huh. on the edge. Yeah, Chris definitely understands what he has to do. He's the one that has to go against Snake. He's the one that has to um, find all the C4s and aim it so that um, nobody gets hit by the C4, except for him, and he gets his percentage up. Uh -oh. Goodbye. How did I that happen? That was, was that a C4? Uh, no, I don't think so. Oh, oh but there it goes. wow. There it goes. Also, was, was, was Snake oh, at zero? Wow, and an SD to come along with that. But I'm sure Snake was like, just came back, and then they instantly got spiked there. I'm not really sure. I was really paying attention to uh, to PK Chris and his when his stock got taken away. But also now the game is a little more even, except for Bobo, who's a one stock deficit from everyone else. And might be really unfortunate unless Quick Game is able to keep that second stock and use it. So in this case, Pink, uh, in this case Bobo needs to come back with the... Um, with the restock. But right now, Red Team kind of dominating the scene at the moment. Yeah, and I honestly really, really love how PK Chris is solely focusing on Bobo. Every time they get a little bit closer to um, Quid, they sometimes switch po spots for the most part, but overall, he's been um, focusing on Bobo. Yeah, Bobo needs to be really careful, not making, sure, making sure not to, you know, not pay attention to when you know Suarez comes in. I was trying to go for Pika Chris and Vice Versa because that just happened. So he really has to be careful with 110 percent, 116 percent. He could just leave his teammate to die here against PK Chris and Suarez, who now have one stock each, but basically just coming back from nothing. Yeah. Oh, this is a. I didn't realize this was a run back. They battled before and win their semis. Mm -hmm. Now they're back. Yeah, they send. They send to losers. But at the moment, I think uh, they're both playing different characters. Ah, I see, I see. I th I want to say that they, they were both the... They were the Pac-Man team. Oh, They're, were they? <laughs> I think so, and then they switched to their main mains. Oh, I want to say that's true. Maybe, I may not be. Because that, that Pac-Man duo was funny. Yeah, but now everyone is at one mm -hmm. stop. And a really high percentage is for PK Chris, who... Oh, nice. Ah, uh, this might be looking really bad for Quid Game if he's able to maybe take out Suarez. Yeah, but honestly, um, Chris is definitely the one fronting. They're not the one that it's... Um, oh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. He's definitely trying to get that back here for Ness and just take him out as much as he could, which is a good idea. Oh, great! Oh, okay, oh, great wow, job carrying that. that last thing hit Let's go! On. Oh, 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 this one on might one. be it. Again, again, one-on-one. -on -one. And honestly, Quid really thrives in these kind of situations like we saw in the previous one. Oh, man. Oh, that, that's not, it's just not going to work against Charizard. And that, oh, once again, wow. Charger's tail coming in clutch. Yeah, Quid is like thriving in this, and it's a reset now, right? Now we're on reset, yep. This is true grands, <clears throat> Bubble Quid versus PK Christmas Wars once more. Wow. They must suck being losers and then going back into like, true grands. You have to like win twice again. Yeah, at That's least so it's stressful. The, at least the most it'll be is a game of six. Basically. And not ten. If I have to go through 10 doubles matches, I'd... <clears throat> I mean, that's what I just did. I mean, for the players. For the <laughs> players. Know. No, going through, like, best of five, true grands, gross. That, I feel like you have to have such an endurance run. Yeah, I would get so tired. Oh my goodness, when people are the serious, they, they, they play a bit of time they, from they Tekken. They get so serious, <coughs> like, guys. Yoshi.
Yoshi. Pokemon, Pokemon trainer. Today. Today. They did it all one by one. That They're was so cute. extra. I love it. <laughs> they need to like set the stage. That's why. All right, here we go. Oh, and they went to Battlefield. That's how you know it's serious. Battlefield is honestly really good for um, Bobo. He can definitely throw out some of these grenades, especially in places that are very unsuspecting. Um, like right now, it's at the top platform. And um, if you're so focused on this game, the last thing you'll think about is a random... The go huh? Eh? I don't think he has jump. Wow. I think he tried uh, DIing back up into the air, into the ledge, and then it, I think it missed. I want to say what happened, but I wasn't quite sure. All I saw was him going down, 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 down. I was like, "Where is he going?" Mm -hmm. I was like, "Brilliant starts his, uh, to the true finals." Mm -hmm. Oh wow, yo, um, Suarez having to run off to the other side to not get hit by so many things that um, the grenade and the C4s have to offer. And right now, Quid is just. Chill in using um, razor leaves to get opponents away from him. Okay, okay. Taking Gang. him back. I'm taking taking bubbles first stock. Taking uh, PK Chris first stock as well. Everyone kind of in a little bit of an even uh, distribution right now, except for Quid, of course, who is trying to hold on to that first stock and only at 69 percent. Haha, cool. Mm -hmm, the magic number, funny number. But right now, I'm starting to realize how Squid is starting is like playing. They're playing more passive as opposed to. Um, Bobo, they're waiting for um, their opponents to approach them rather than the opposite way, and that's why they're being able to hold on to their stock for such a long time. Oh, but are they gonna make it back on? Yeah, oh, not no. quite even wow. with charge, but the charge are switching. But it's okay because now you know everyone's a little bit more even, and uh, Pika Chris at 72%. When did Suarez lose his second stock? Remember, he had the SD, and it kind of just. That was the first stock. I know. When was the second? Uh, you know what? That's a good question. But I was going to say that it's because, you know, he lost his first stock. He, he basically started the, stock, the game with two stocks. Right, right, right. Which really sucks. I'm, not actually, I'm actually not sure who took his uh, second stock. I was very focused on... I think that's what um, happened. I think it was we were so focused on um, the on other... On Bobo. Right. That's why that was so difficult. It's just been going on at once. But it's okay. Yeah, and Quid is we really just pushing everyone aside. They're not letting them come back on stage whenever they can. And once you're in um, center stage and you have the... Wow. And you have that... Um, I was gonna call it Igly buff, Ivy Sword Nair. Um, it takes up so much space right there in the middle section of Battlefield. Let's see. I mean, right now, uh, Red Team is. They both have one stock. PK Chris have you know really high percentage, and <gasps> I think he's being that was a little so bit so close to taking it. Oh, now we have. Oh, oh now I was about it's a one v one. You definitely no. want no, it to not, be. No, it's not. one v one. Yeah, you definitely want it to be a two v one rather yeah. than a one v one if you have it. And um, Snake having a lot of uh, damage. It's Snake is a character that can play relatively passive and. Um, in doubles, considering of all the projectiles they have, they just have to obviously be a little bit more careful. <gasps> foul. What? That didn't foul. hit. That's foul. insane. Foul. Absolutely foul. That didn't hit. Well, it didn't hit um, Snake, which that means they know their spacing well. Okay. Yeah, right. Right. Oh, oh. so he got so hit he by tried. the fire, mm -hmm. and then I, I think it took it, like, away his took jump. Away a jump or something. And then he tried using shell. I think that was a misinput. Low key, because it hit the the edge of the stage or the bottom of the stage. A really unfortunate. Wow, this anxiety-inducing music. <laughs> Team Galactic trying to take out those perglies, those skunk tanks. You leave Perugly alone. I love Perugly. What a good Pokemon. I love Perugly so and much. Glam meow. Glam meow. What a good Pokemon. I love all the cat Pokemon. Me too. They always do them so well. Alright, over on Kalos, we have two platforms on the very edge of the stage, and the stage itself is Honestly. just kind of chilling. What's up? What's up? Um, Suarez instantly threw an egg, and then Chris fell right into it. It was like the, the moment the, the game said go, Chris got hit by the egg. It was so funny. God. And again, I tell you, be careful with your with your teammate and like where they are because God, the the egg coming from the de from like from above the platform is not funny. But this sage right here is so good for Chris and um, Chris and who? I was gonna say Chris and Quid, Chris and Suarez, because um, Chris's back airs or like um, Ness's Ness's throws, um, 
combo well into Yoshi's moves. And wow, that little egg managed to catch um, Bobo up. Okay, here we go. Now that there's more space to work with in the air, um, that's something that um, Bobo has to be careful of. That's something that Bobo... It's kind of very reminiscent to when... That's the thing! That's they the thing that... Again. Yeah! Yeah, you can tell they know what they're doing. Once once they have that, that snake it's like grab, it's, it's Ivysaur, you know, here to destroy you. Yeah, and here's the thing. Is since the stage... Um, since the ceiling is so high, Bobo has the chance to go up into the air once again. But... Um, Suarez killing him with the egg was definitely a warning sign that he cannot do it as often or like do it in a way that won't get punished. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Right now we have Bobo just kind of being at 130, uh, 131%. And he has to be really careful because Suarez is literally trying to K take him out of the air with these egg throws all the way up vertically where uh, Snake is kind of chilling literally next to the blast zone. Yeah, both of them just toss. <laughs> They're literally just like, what do we... Oh, they tried singing up again, know, but, but it just didn't happen. But Ness um, reflecting Razor Leaf with the baseball just looked so funny. Getting the back, the fair. Wow. Chris is just tossing all these, um, these aerials out. They're working. Oh my god, this is, I mean, again, this game is kind of really close. If Bubble was able to kind of stay away and just take out Swords' like second stock, they could really, you know, they could run it back. Yeah, honestly, Quid is so good at just catching people in the air, and that's definitely where he stands. Oh, and but, okay, he, got, he, but wow. he got caught in the air this time. Yeah, Suarez was like, yeah, last game I lost all my stocks, now I'm going to save them all up, and that's exactly what he's doing. He's playing way safer, going for, um, I believe that's down B, to like break up uh, teams, break up groups together, and oh yeah, getting caught in the air again by... Um, all right, so the game plan here, now they're all one stock and somewhat of an even kind of distribution of the percentages. Suarez... Swords is fine. What they have to kind of do is give it PK Chris. He is the one with the most percentage. And if Bobo and, and, and Quid are able to do that, they can just gang, one, gang up on Suarez and really keep him off the stage where Yoshi would just kind of like be like, hey, yo, <laughs> what's going on? Mm -hmm. And um, oh, okay, Quid has been good. catching a lot of people in the air. And it's, it's insane how uh, most of the kids... <gasps> the There's no way. Oh, wow. I think he definitely missed spaces uh, where his DI would take him to the, on the ledge because... He, he thought he was close enough. He definitely did. Quid doing amazing job. Amazing job by making sure he's not able to get these oppo his opponents, you know, hitting him at all. Just barely getting, uh, uh, avoiding those eggs, but not avoiding that Yoshi. Oh, oh my god, wow. he died it! 151 and still live? That, that's insane. Maybe it was because it was a smaller hit for it, but... Maybe maybe it was like in a not good spot. Maybe it was just because he was so far from the from the blast zone. But that's definitely gonna take it from Baha. Oh, but what? he's definitely not because Charizard is so heavy. We yeah, love Charizard. You know yeah, the switch to Charizard was definitely better. Oh, Get getting it back the back air. And he might do it again. He might. He. he oh, 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 okay. No. Maybe one more. Oh man, that was definitely. If Yoshi fell right on, it would definitely take in it. And now, oh my oh, God. Oh no, this might. Oh, the, oh. where the egg? Where the egg doing? <gasps> I'm so anxious. It's a, it's there. Oh, oh, this might it, be it. No, not quite yet. F row. Oh man, once you're at this position, Charizard's um, tail is something you gotta really look out for. But also, oh, if oh, you're Charizard, oh, oh. your tail is something you gotta really oh, look out oh, for. Oh, and there and it that's is. gonna be it. The winner of our doubles at Xeno Saga 38 will be Bobo and Quid. Wow, what a amazing! Wow, that I'm like really... I'm kind of like kind of in shock. <laughs> and honestly, Quid was kind of the goat in the one v one, and especially in two v one situations with Charizard. Charizard not taking that much damage, or Charizard um, not gonna kill for moves that would normally kill Ivysaur and Squirtle. All of that, and um, at the very end, um, Quid's advantage stage and Quid's momentum just was insane really um changed the pace of the game to their favor agreed i mean i told you just taking out pk chris and then going against swords maybe not in 1v1 not the switch one i was really like, talking about but even then like being able to bring it back for your team i believe tw literally twice he brought it back for his team mm -hmm. when they were in a 1v1 kind of situation and he was in the in the in the deficit yeah Running it back, winning it after they got sent to losers by and fought um, all the way through exactly. losers. 
being the likes of you know LRA star and a man <laughs> man and oh no they, they didn't go against LRA star I think but they did they did go against you know uh, Dan the Man and Joe Pond, they went against Bobo and Quid, against uh, Yuppie Ray and Mochi, and they also went against like all these other good players, and they really fought them. Who went against me? Them. Bobo? But they were playing different characters, they're, they're the PK team. Yeah, I know, but oh, oh, but... So they, they changed out into no, Snake. No, because I thought I thought you were saying that Bobo was beating beat me and Dave. It was Suarez and Chris who did. 